What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 81 on my journey to 1200 ELO. So if you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. Check out Fee and Keto Club in the link below. You can get really cool chess inspired streetwear and you can use code NETCHESS to get 20% off. So without further ado, let's get into today's game. All right. All right, here we go. Who are we gonna play today? All right, we are playing a 1257, and we have the white pieces, and I'm going to be playing a London. Um, Burner 343 is from Germany, and uh, I don't think we've played him before, but it's all right. He might be trying to play a King's Indian. Okay, he's not. That's okay. All right. So this is a an awkward move order for me. Um, so something I was thinking about doing is playing a move like this. Just getting the knight out. If he takes, uh, I can't do that actually. If I slide my queen over, that's a move. He's already got me thinking, so I don't really know exactly what I should be doing in this sort of scenario, but I'm just gonna defend the pawn, and I think this is a really ugly move, but it's gonna be what I do, so. Yeah, so already a bit uncertain as to what we should be doing. It's not very good when it's like the third move of the game. We can look at it um, when I go to review the game afterwards. Um, so he takes. And again, this is just why this is not good. Um, already, this is like kind of annoying. So he'll take this with his queen. This sucks already, but. So, wondering if I can get away with this move. Perhaps playing this move. I don't know. We're already giving up a pawn. I'm gonna be a pawn down from the, from the opening. So I think we'll attack the queen. The bishop's defended. If he gives this check, I can probably just play this move. Or I could back the bishop up, which might be just a better way to do that. <sighs> Definitely interesting. I'm not a big fan of how this turned out. Yeah, I think maybe a better move is that, but maybe it is fine to get this bishop out. Um, so, he doesn't... I, I want to get this knight out, I think. I also want to just get castled. Um, this wins another tempo on the queen. Um, I'm just going to play this move. This is probably not what I should be doing, but I'm going to try and get as developed as possible. I will be a little ahead in development, but I'm down a pawn. So if he gives this check, I can I can just get my knight out probably. I could also play c3. Um 
Yeah, so he brings his queen all the way back. It's probably not a terrible move. Um, maybe just a bit easier. Um, I'm going to develop my bishop out and maybe think about getting castled. Um, giving this check doesn't do me too much good, but I could try to keep pressure on this here. Uh, we'll keep pressure on that, maybe. So, I lost all center pawns, which is relatively scary for me. My opponent is missing his uh, C pawn. So, I want to get my knight out. I want to get castled as well. And I think that would be suitable. If he plays a move like this, I think that I'm just going to go ahead and castle. Maybe. Um. We are up on time, which is kind of nice. Um, so the bishop is attacking my knight, but nothing is actually happening to my knight. So I'm wondering... Maybe I just slide my queen over to defend on that square. I could also start or just move the knight. I'm get, I am I don't really want to just get caught up in moving a bunch of pieces over and over. I was thinking about doing this and castling. Um, however, I mean, maybe that is best. I'm just gonna try and keep developing if I can, so. I wanted the knight on this square, so now I feel like my queen just got blocked in, because <laughs> it did. Um, but it's all right, we'll figure it out. I'm playing a little, little sloppy, I think, so. He's offering to start operating like this. I think I'm going to uh, attack the bishop like that. So, he can bring the bishop here. I think I'm going to start trying to push the pawns. Playing this in a weird way. I could also just castle kingside and not worry about all of that kind of stuff. If he backs up... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. This bishop is now staring into kind of granite, so that is a little obnoxious. I could play a move like this and drop the bishop down. Um. My opponent's doing a good job of uh, making me uncomfortable in this game, but I am actually, unlike usual, I am ahead on on the clock by almost two and a half minutes now, which is good. If I can keep the game 
kind of a slow momentum, I might be able to just win on time um, at the very least. But I'm more focused on trying not to make big mistakes. I feel like I've been having some mistakes recently. So this game might be an example of games I've had some mistakes on. So if I take, it opens this up. If I take this, he gets his knight in. Um, a bit interesting, huh? I can pin the knight. That might be what I want to do here. So I'm pretty interested to see what I should be doing in these kind of positions. Um, right now, I'm threatening to take this with a fork. So I think he needs to defend this. Maybe a rook over would be a way to do that. He can do it with his queen as well. Um, takes, takes, this knight is in the way of my, <coughs> my peace. <clears throat> I could um, defend my knight is one thing that I could do. I could defend my knight like this as well, which maybe is better. I'm going to do this. If he takes, I'll take back. Um... But now I'm also threatening to maybe just take this. Right now, I'm worried about this check, actually. So I think I'm going to take this with check first. And then... Play this move, capturing back. Because I think he could have given that check and my bishop's hanging there. Um, pretty interesting game so far. I'm going to castle. Alright. He seems to not really care about that. Um... I'm going to get a rook to the file. He's got his queen lined up here. He did castle. Um, takes, 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 takes. That almost looks like it might do something. If I take, he takes, I take. What does he have? My queen would be here. 
a move like this. Queen can't go here. Queen can't go here. Takes, takes, queen takes. If he moves his knight here. I could back up. It's hard to say. Um, I'm going to just slightly improve my pieces. And I'm thinking about doing this. I don't know if I want to, but it's what I'm thinking about. Bringing my rooks to the center seemed like a good idea. Um, I gave him a little bit of time back on that move. Trying to calculate. Something that opens his king up, but I don't know if it's a good move. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to bring this uh, rook over to d1, maybe on the next few moves or so. I, I mean... I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I feel like I'm being a little squeezed now. Boom. Boom. So he brings over a rook. Fair enough. I've completely weakened my dark squares now. Which seems to be maybe an issue. Um, I'm going to bring this pawn over here and try to open things up maybe oh my god I do this to myself every time I play chess I don't even know why I do this to myself <sighs> good thing I didn't sacrifice a piece So he can bring his queen in here and start winning pawns. I need to make a love for my king. Everything is lost now for me. <laughs> Completely lost. Um, let's see. I mean... Oh boy. He wants to double up, it looks like. Um, perhaps. I'll make a love for my king. I don't really have any exclusively cool moves that I think that I can play right now, so...
He is uh, completely dogging me. I'm going to lose that pawn over there. I mean, I don't understand how he's, uh, he's just ice, ice in his veins. I'm going to try and cause complications for my opponent, but I don't think I can do very much. Alright, he decided he didn't want to lose this pawn. So, he has come back. Which is rather cool of him. Um, I could play a move like this. But, all he does is double up his rooks and then I can't do anything over here. If I slide my queen over, I'm putting pressure on this. Um, I don't know. He can just push the pawn. Um, I don't know. Throw the pawn forward. I'm down on time now, too, but he's a whole piece up, so this kind of feels tough. Kind of tough. Um... Probably a lot to review in this game. <clears throat> I'm going to see what my opponent wants to do with this. So I can't take, and I can't take this either. Um, we'll just get another piece in. He can literally just push the pawn, I think. Very, very tough. Um, my queen might be getting trapped. And, uh, that is funny because... Um, it just is. I think almost anything for my opponent is winning here. Um, he's 
low on time though. I'm gonna try to just play fast. Um, I don't know what to do, but we're going to figure it out. Fork, I want a pawn. Uh, I'll attack his rook. I'll come back. I will attack his rook. Take the rook. Bring the king. Um, I will just move this piece over to here. Um, let's see. I'm up a whole piece, but I don't really know how to win. Come back this way, maybe. I need to bring my king forward if he'll let me. Play this move. Slide over. come back here now so I can take this pawn maybe he 
can move here. Um, if I move here, he goes here. What do I got? I got nothing. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm attacking the pawn. Check. Um, I can start marching this pawn. Um, we are figuring it out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you can come back here. <clears throat> we are figuring it out. Um, um, he wants to stalemate, so. All right, we got the queen. Yo, crazy game, crazy game. Holy crap, we did it, we did it. Yo, ah, say what your chest. All right, we are rated 1162 out of that. That was a fun game. That was super intense. So we had obviously the big blunder and I want to look at the opening. So I played my regular old London. My boy goes for like this I, this is like English, maybe. So queen over is just not the move. Getting this knight out here is good. Oh, wait. Why wouldn't he just take this? Because I do that. I can't do that, actually. It's because this hangs. So I'd have to, like... I don't know what I would do. I, I could play this move just immediately is that the idea and he wouldn't be able to go here here he'd have to go here okay so note in the future just develop the knight instead we end up in this position we're a little bit worse but apparently we're okay um i backed the bishop up um, it wants me to just push this pawn. It gets my queen some room and it also, well, no, it doesn't give, it gives my knight a better square to go to. <clears throat> so let's be real about that. Um, I developed this light squared bishop. Um, it wanted me to throw c4 forward. Um, this was a mistake immediately because I could not drop my bishop. Uh, it wanted me to give the check, but I should have probably put my bishop here. I think that would have been fine. Um, we ended up in this position. I blocked or I defended my knight like this, but it just wants me to do this immediately. Um, and I don't blame it. It ended up being kind of complicated doing what I was doing here. So again, see, see, uh, 
four is fantastic. My king is not castled, so I was thinking about... Whoa, sorry about that. I was thinking about castling my king. This led me to pin the knight. This is a blunder. Um, so it wanted me to take the knight. He takes back with the pawn, and we're pinning the pawn still with our bishop. Um, but this ended up just being a... So I, I was smart to take here because he's not attacking my queen or anything with his bishop right now. And if he plays this move, he has a uh, check on my king winning my bishop. And I think that's what the yeah the computer wanted this. So I did miss this while, while I played. Um, and black is uh, apparently completely dominating here. They're up a pawn. Materials equal except for the pawn, um, but he's as developed, if not even more, de he's more developed than I am, even, and he moved his queen 6,000 times in the opening, so I don't think that what I played was very, very good, but um, he attacks my queen immediately, I, uh, I kind of was, ooh, okay, so this was a mistake immediately, um, yeah, um, so we found that out the hard way, right? Like that sliding the rook over to, uh, the square literally invited this fork and we were down, we were down the exchange and, uh, and a pawn and, uh, this is completely losing for us, but I tried to find some counterplay. I couldn't really find much, but I was trying. My goal here was to get the rook over to here, but he's attacking my knight here right so i maybe this was a better move for me i played this move the better move is actually okay that's crazy i wouldn't have thought that um okay but i mean i ended up doing this and instead of taking back i took with the rook the rooks lined up I played this move again again just trying to get some counter play but um it uh it was kind of hard so i went for a big trade here and i don't think it was a good idea but i ended up just being a super annoying knight and yeah this was his big i don't know if he just didn't realize that my knight is attacking him still i was just gonna literally do this until he got so annoyed that he couldn't play anymore and <clears throat> this ended up being a kind of annoying end game like he felt annoyed right so he kept chasing my knight around i'm still winning uh, um he wanted me to kind of lock things down um i feel like i did a decent job of ooh, okay overlooked a better way to move the knight to safety <clears throat> I liked what I did because I wanted to uh, reroute my knight anyways and he kind of helped me by stepping there I thought he was going to go here and kind of make it so I had to go like around to try and get my knight in um, which I would have I would have found some way to get him back over to where he needed to be we attack the pawn. We win the pawn. This is where things start to really snowball for my opponent. Um, best move is getting the knight forward. And maybe plopping him here and pushing this pawn again. Or, yeah, something like that. So, we did fine, though. We found the moves. Um, I decided to reroute the knight. Give this check so that he couldn't get a stalemate and had to come out of the corner. This allowed me to push the pawn and then promote, and we won the game. So, I played like a 1450. My opponent played like a 1350. I think the game was 100% in his hands. Um, we just beat another 1250 rated opponent. That feels great. I got 10 rating points for that, and we were completely losing. So, you know, never resign. There's always, there's always something. Um, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> That was fun. My heart is like, yo, I'm, I'm having a good time. That was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed today's game. I will catch you tomorrow.